everybody. It is my pleasure uh, now that we're at six o'clock to get us going here um, for our eighth grade transition to high school welcome night. Uh, my name is Dominic Bauer. I'm one of the associate principals here at Brookfield Central. This is my third year here. Uh, I work primarily with students in the second half of the alphabet and I'll be joined by Mr. Don Kurth, who is our Athletics and Activities Director, uh, as well as doing some of our Associate Principal duties. Um, and he'll be, he'll be doing the initial part of the presentation with me here tonight. So we'll get you guys started, and then we'll turn you over to a couple of our outstanding counselors, Ms. Lemke and Mr. Groh, to do the uh, majority of the presentation uh, after we get our intro out of the way. So here's what your night looks like. Uh, like I said, we have a short welcome and overview here, uh, myself and Mr. Kurth, and then we'll turn it over to Ms. Lemke, Mr. Groh. And uh, normally if this was in person, we would have a little bit different approach, but being virtual through the Zoom here, um, department videos have been created by each of our wonderful departments, and they're really well done. Um, uh, just a ton of information in there as uh, you being incoming freshmen and, and parents of incoming freshmen can really get an idea of what we have to offer and the, and the different pathways that students can take academically here at Brookfield Central. That slide on a side note is also available on our academic planning site, uh, which I'll show you how to get to that at one point in the presentation here in the intro. Our proud principal, Mr. Gritzmacher, um, says this is probably one of the single most things that he misses right now. Uh, you know, obviously with our mitigation protocols for COVID, we're not able to take a picture like this, uh, but this is an all school picture from, I believe it was uh, last year, right before COVID or the year before. This one actually looks like it was last year. I see a couple of our graduating seniors there. And, um, one of our, our big things that you're going to hear Mr. Kurth talk about is we have a goal here that every student belongs here at Brookfield Central. And this picture is really representative of that. Every student and staff member is in our bleachers here for an all school picture. That's something that we regularly do when we can a couple of times a year, um, along with a variety of other things to really make sure that everyone feels a sense of belonging here at Brookfield Central, students and staff alike. So our, our students are incredible. Um, I absolutely love working with them. And our staff is second to none. As you'll see here, we've got a uh, number of pictures of, of our staff members, teachers, uh, custodians, our food service workers, special ed staff, regular ed staff, um, aides, you name it, everybody is in here. and. Uh, there's a, we couldn't get them all on one slide. So there's four slides of various uh, staff members in here. Uh, our school resource officer, Officer Cater, you can see on this slide here. Um, there's Mr. Kurth, I see him too. Uh, we can go on to the next slide here. Every one of these adults uh, does their part to make Brookfield Central the, the building that it is. And having worked in a number of buildings in my educational career, Brookfield Central is truly a special place. And that is a testament to the work done by our staff um, and the incredible students that, that we have the opportunity to work with and serve on a daily basis. One of the key people in the building that your son or daughter will work with over the next four years are our our great counselors here at Brookfield Central. So you can see them uh, standing here for a little group photo. Uh, their name is there as well as the students in the alphabet last names uh, that they primarily work with. So Mrs. Leah Devine works with students last names A through F. Mrs. Jessica Primo with students last names G through L E. Uh, Ms. Lemke with last names L I through R I and Mr. Greg Groh with students' last names, R-O through Z. Like I said earlier, you're gonna hear directly from uh, Ms. Lemke and Mr. Groh here in a little bit, and uh, they'll talk about some things that you can do as you transition here to, to Brookfield Central. 
mentioned this a little bit earlier, uh, our, academic, our academic planning site is up running and is updated as well uh, and continues to be updated as we get more, uh, more things ready to go for the upcoming school year. So you can see it's labeled the 21-22 academic planning site. So we're making preparations for next school year for all of you to be here with us. And this is basically a one-stop shop for anything that you might need in terms of, of scheduling, whether that's for next year or beyond. Uh, so it is really easy to access. So on the next slide, you can see that if you go to our school webpage, um, it's going to be the second uh, item on the right hand side of, of that of the web page of the home page. So you can click on the uh, academic planning site, it'll take you there and there's a ton of stuff there. You could definitely fall into that rabbit hole going through it all, but it's, it's really quality information that will help you make informed decisions about how to really utilize everything that we have to offer here at Brookfield Central over the next four years. So I would encourage everybody to check that out if you haven't already done so. One of the, one of the uh, main aspects, obviously, of any school is uh, the academic piece of it. And we have really incredible offerings here at Brookfield Central for all students, regardless of what your interests, passions are, long-term goals, short-term goals, uh, with your counselors, your teachers, administration. Um, we really try to go out of our way to make sure that your experience here is tailored to your interests and your, your needs. So, um, you know, course offerings are, are really a wide range. Uh, we offer 26 AP courses, eight honors courses in honors in, uh, English, math, and uh, science. Uh, we also have a number of languages, five of them to be exact. So those of you that maybe have started a language can continue. If you haven't started a language or you didn't, keep a, uh, didn't like the language you were with, you can switch it and, and start something fresh here. Um, our academic courses uh, really prepare our students well for some of those tests that help with post-secondary opportunities. We have very high ACT scores, um, and that has been a, a trend that has stayed steady or gone up in the last few years, so we're really proud of that. Uh, we also have an amazing fab lab. You can see in the bottom left-hand picture there, a student is in our wood shop, uh, but the wood shop is just a part of it. There's, a, there's an auto lab back there. We've got a digital imaging lab back there, uh, an engineering lab. It, it truly is incredible. And, and if you haven't had the chance to see it, when we're able to open our doors and, and have people in again, um, make it worth your while to stop back there. It's, it's quite the space. Uh, one of the classes, uh, strands I should say of launch that we have here in the district actually uses that space as well. Uh, the launch program continues to expand and is something that ha has a little something for everybody. So there's a hospitality strand where if you're interested in, in cuisine, you can uh, start you know, perusing that here as a high schooler and you don't have to wait until after you get out of high school. There's engineering strand, there's a teaching strand, um, really some amazing opportunities and it is growing. So who knows what it'll be by the time you are, you know, sophomores or juniors, what options might be available to you. And a number of various transcripted courses as well for outside work where you can get college credit uh, while you're a high school student here at BC. So we're, we're really proud of what we have to offer. We're really proud of our students, every last one of them, our staff and collectively, um, Everybody who is here will tell you that, that BC really is a special place to be. So with that said, we are also an AVID school and uh, that is a program that you might be familiar with as it's been put into the middle school in the last year here. So um, if that's something you're interested in, please connect with your counselor at the uh, middle school level and they will talk you through how you can apply for that so that you could join the program here at BC as a freshman next year. That process is starting soon. So if that's something you're interested in, please do that in the near future. But all of our, all of our classes here at BC uh, have AVID as a part of the class. So the organization strategies like the WICR, um, which stands for Writing Inquiry Collaboration Organization. And um, I'm drawing a blank here on the R right now. 
Don, help me out. The R of Wicker. Reading. Reading. I got it. Um, those are in all of our classes, not just our AVID classes. So if you are interested, like I said, please talk to your counselor um, sooner than later. With that, I'm going to turn it over to Mr. Kurth to talk about our uh, athletic and activity offerings here at BC. Okay, there we go. Sorry about that. We had a little muting situation going on. Good evening, everybody. Uh, great to be with you tonight. Uh, as Mr. Bauer said, uh, we're very proud of Brookfield Central. We love our staff. We love our students. And uh, we're, I'm thrilled to be here. I'm lucky as the Athletic act uh, Activities Director, I get to oversee 31 different athletic and activity offerings. We're able to offer 55 different clubs and activities to our students. I really like to think that there's something for everybody here to get involved uh, with school, get a sense of belonging, and take some pride and ownership in their high school experience. Uh, we have community service groups where our kids can give back to the community. Our National Honor Society is outstanding, advised by Mrs. Devine. We have the nation's biggest key club, advised by Mr. Blaha and Mr. Nelson. And we have an excellent Red Kettle Club, advised by Mr. Mohammed, uh, for community service. I'm sitting in our black box. We've got uh, our black box theater where we put on some smaller productions in our theater department. Um, you know, we, we are fortunate to have a, a large scale fall musical. Hopefully we get to run that again this year under the direction of Mr. Lewick. And then Mr. Pronley, our black box coordinator directs our one act play, three act play, studio show, and also our summer theater. Uh, next slide, please, Mr. Bauer. As you can see here, uh, this is information regarding our fall sports information night. This is going to be a, a meeting held on YouTube, so you do not have to come in person to BC to attend. And uh, as you can see, there are all the sports that are listed there. I'm not going to read them to you. You're capable of seeing that. But I can't emphasize enough, one of the best ways for an incoming freshman to get off to a good start in high school is to get involved in a fall sport. It's a great way to get on campus, meet adults in the building, other coaches, uh, us as administrators, get to meet older upperclassmen, and get to meet new people, new friends, et cetera. So kids that play fall sports typically report that they feel a whole lot more confident when they come to that first day of school. And this meeting is for both students and parents, okay? So students and parents, there'll be breakout sessions uh, at the end of this meeting for each individual sport. So mark your calendars, May 17th, 7 p.m. Uh, next uh, slide, please, Mr. Bauer. One of the ways that uh, your kids can prepare uh, for their fall season and, and uh, winter or spring is we have summer strength, summer speed, strength and conditioning. This is a free course offered in the summer. It is run by our coaching staff led by our strength and conditioning coordinator, Joel Nellis. We've got two sessions. Our boys session goes from seven to 9 a.m. followed by the girls, nine to 10.30. Sign up begins February 23rd. And as you can see, uh, it starts right after school is over, June 14th. And this runs through the end of July or uh, July 15th, 16th, 17th, somewhere in there. But nonetheless, we really want your kids to uh, get involved with this. If they want to be a better athlete, they should definitely sign up for this program. Next slide, please. Along with, uh, let's say your, your, your son or daughter is not interested in athletics, but uh, they, they want to get involved with something. We have a phenomenal summer uh, theater program under direction of Dan Pronley. As you can see, the tryouts are June 8th and 9th uh, and multiple performance dates listed there. Now, if you've got a vacation planned, before you rule yourself uh, out of being able to participate in this, I would connect with Dan Pronley. He may be able to accommodate you and work with you on your vacation. Uh, and the other thing I wanna emphasize, this theater program is open to students at Brookfield East and Brookfield Central. So it's a real communal effort between our schools. It's also open to students entering eighth grade at Pilgrim Park and Wisconsin Hills. And if your son or daughter is not an actor or an actress, uh, there are many things to do with the summer school theater program from set construction and design, painting, lights, sounds, overall theatrical production, a real great way uh, for your kids to get involved. Next slide, please. 
we want our kids to get involved. We also want our parents to get involved. We, we wouldn't be the success we are without our, our parents and the, the assistance and, and help they provide us. Three ways for you to get involved. On the left there, you'll see our BC Applause Fine Arts Booster Club. They support all of our art programs, music, uh, theater, graphic arts, etc. They offer scholarships and hospitality events throughout the year. In the middle, you can see our Lance for Athletic Booster Club. Uh, the Booster Club holds hospitality events as well, uh, ways to get together. Uh, and they also support us uh, in financial needs uh, above and beyond what we, can, uh, what we can pay for as a school. So the Booster Club is incredibly helpful and a uh, very fun organization to be a part of. And last but not least, we have the Brookfield Central PTO. They fund teacher mini grants and, and student scholarships as well. So a lot of opportunities for you to get involved as a parent. You can sign up for any of these groups during your summer registration. Uh, next slide, please. One of the things, uh, in a previous life, I was a teacher. I was also a school counselor and a coach. Um, one of the things that makes you successful in school and also in life is finding balance. So you're going to hear all these things about getting involved and challenging yourself academically, but we want to make sure as a student at BC that while you're doing those things, you need to maintain balance between family life, school life, uh, et cetera. So just make sure that uh, you don't uh, do more than you're capable of handling. And, and there's a lot of people here to help you through that, but you want to maintain balance because uh, that will ensure success in school and in life. Next slide. Maintaining balance uh, before you know it, it's going to be June 2025. And you're like, why are you talking about graduation? Uh, the next four years are going to fly past and we want you to really do what you can to make the most of them. Meet new people, try new things, take classes that interest you, get help from uh, your teachers and staff here. Everybody is here to help you out. And uh, along the journey, you're going to have pitfalls, you're going to have stress, you're going to have enjoyment, you're going to have happy times, you're going to experience a whole bunch of things. Uh, but we really, we really want you to uh, have a positive experience at Brookfield Central. And next slide. Part of that positive experience is that sense of belonging that you hear us all talk about. We really want you to get involved. We want our students to feel that they belong here, no matter what their background, race, ethnicity, interests uh, in school. Maybe you're interested in academics, maybe you're interested in athletics, the arts, doesn't matter to us. We want everyone to feel that they belong here and that they're safe and welcome. Next slide. And with that, I know you've got a lot of information ahead of you tonight. We, we wanna thank you for taking the time to join us. You can see the QR code there, code there to scan and please do not hesitate to send us any questions and we will follow up with you. Mr. Bauer, I'll turn it back to you. All right, thank you very much, Mr. Kurth. That concludes the intro and welcome part to uh, tonight's presentation. So I'm gonna stop sharing my screen here. We'll take about 90 seconds to transition so that Ms. Lemke and Mr. Groh can uh, become the, the screen sharers and present to you the information that they have for you tonight. So again, really, really happy that everybody is able to make it tonight and be a part of this with us and uh, hope, to, hope to see everybody in person all together soon uh, the next time that we can. So I'm gonna mute, turn off my, uh, my screen and, and hope to see everybody in the near future. Take care.